Welcome back to Game Quest. I'm Mike. And I'm Tony. And, uh... Oh, yeah, we got a pop-up saying to go to Magmore. In the geothermal the core? core. Huh. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna fall in this hole now. <laughs> Thanks for the update, game, but we're gonna... Jump down a bird thing first. What is this? Oh, there's a... Don't fall off. There's a hole in the back of you. See there it, right? it is. Okay. What? Camera reverse direction. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're back in here. Sweet. Oh, boy. I can't wait to do this again. I just want to go left. Okay. Aha. <laughs> Let us not speak of that. Go up, I think. Actually, wait. We want to go to the uh, door directly across, I think. See what I mean? Goes to the uh, Chozo ruins. Oh. Oh, is this the door? Pretty sure, yeah. Huh. Sweet. Power bombs. And up we go. Yeah, so the thing said to go to Magmore, but we're not because we thought of a couple cool places we haven't been back to in a while. So we're going there instead. Because, you know, basically the computer tells us where to go and we blatantly ignore it. That's just kind of how we roll. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey. Yeah, we're back here. And from here, hold on a second. Map. Okay, so I think left goes Magmore, right? Um. Save station three, Talon oh, overworld. overworld. Oh, okay, so then go forward. What goes this way? That's into the one chamber. Furnace. Crossway. I think the fastest way through here is actually to go left through the overworld. And then come back to the like the normal entrance to the uh, place. You know what I mean? I think I agree with you. Plus, oh, safe station. Yeah. I mean, it's never really a bad idea. I mean, I got my health all the way back to full, but like, you never know when I might do something to. He's <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Some part of me is sitting here going, like, I'm going to get attacked in the elevator at some point. Right? It feels like there should be something that interrupts this cutscene. It just... It it being constantly like that is giving me dead space feels. I actually kind of enjoyed how in dead space, I only think of one or two times where you actually got attacked in an elevator kind of situation. Yeah, like happened like exactly once, I think. I think it happened more than once, but only it, it happened sparingly is my point. And I'm thinking about it now, and I can't recall a single time you were ever attacked crawling in a vent. Yeah, I wasn't going to bring that one up, but that was, like, one of my big disappointments, was it just... It, like, there was a couple of good, like, basic moments that looked like, like, brought the idea to mind, and then it just never happened. Which is whatever, I guess. I think you can jump down and then use the, uh, grapple points to cross the room quick. Quick, like, okay. You have grapple points. Okay. What did you... Oh. Okay. It's this thing. It's the Jez lap. You really liked going out of your way to kill those guys for no reason before. Uh, if you go that way, there's a hole to the right that leads to the ship, remember? 
Right, and that should bring me to an area where I can actually access those. You don't want to go to the ship, you want to go to the grapple hooks. Yeah, there you go. I think you could have just jumped onto that one from up there, but you should be able to just jump and grab that one with the uh, left button. There you go. Just walk. <laughs> I want to learn how to use a thing. Well, I mean, I tried, and you're clearly incapable. Just walk. Oh, come on. <laughs> you don't have to be so cruel. Yeah, you say it like that, and then basically eventually we're gonna get comments talking about how I'm a giant dick to you all the time for no reason. <laughs> He sounds meaner than he is. Also, he earns more of this hate than you see on camera. <laughs> okay, and... Which... Wow, it's been long. Um... This one? Yes. And... Yes, give me. I want it. I need it. I want it. I need it. So if we go straight through here instead of up towards Magmore. This way. That's the other thing that I really like about this game is, like, in Metroid games in general, it's part of the Metroid genre, uh, Metroidvania genre experience at this point, mm -hmm. is how different parts of it are, like, interconnected. Like, you see a small hole in the wall, and you just couldn't, like, crawl or roll through holes previously, so it didn't mean much to you. But then you realize, oh, hey, this hole goes through this big wall over here, so I can just skip this huge area. Like, right now, we have enough of the map access that, in theory... We never have to go back to Magmore if we don't want to. I mean, we have to because of plot reasons, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it. I don't think there's a single thing in game that basically, like, we can't... A single place in game that we can't go now. Okay, so... No, there's a few things that we can't get to because of uh, plasma doors and stuff, but yeah. Oh, yeah. We want to go up above because the one, you see that one hooky hallway going to the right over there? The one that was kind of like a Riddler staff on the mini map? That one up there? On the left side, upper left side. Right? Hold on a second, look at that map again. Does it look like a crawling bug to you? Huh. Okay, yeah. by that, the front left leg is where we're aiming towards. <laughs> I. This is going to become infuriating to our viewers, where it's just like, we know what we're talking about, but like, we just come up with weird ways of describing things, and just no one will ever be able to know what we're doing, or what we're talking about, or who we even are. Uh, Wait, no, this isn't the right way. Because that's where the fountain is, right? I think so. Wait, no, that is the right way, because instead of going through the fountain, we go through the, uh, we go to the left side of the fountain, then we end up in that other room. This is the correct way. I doubted myself. We want to go to the magma pool. Also, scarabs. Been a while. Indeed, it has been a while. I think the last time was we were talking about Samus's hypothetical travel food vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it all basically a bit more thought, and I think I'm getting, like, I'm still, I'm leaning basically towards, um, like, wrestling and, f like, food as basically what she, like, what she does in her off time. I mean, maybe sports in general, not just wrestling, too, but I mean, like, yeah, I see, it's just, like, she just has, see, like, fairly normal hobbies. And now we get to swing her. Why did it 
Because you didn't hold it down. I did hold it down. Then I don't know what to tell you. You weren't chosen by the hook. <laughs> I wasn't chosen by the hooks. You can't strike if you have to turn. I am glad I have the hell for this. Oh my god. I wasn't chosen by the hook. Okay, let's try it again, but don't make an ass of yourself on TV this time. Oh man. But that's like my favorite thing to do. Okay, that was just a timing thing. You should do it at the top of the jump, not after you're swinging back in the lava. Yeah, that was just a mistake. You've made a lot of mistakes. I am a mistake. Oh my god, how did you even manage to thread that needle? <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. What? There we go. How was that hard? Now that you're on this side of the room, go ahead and scan. Stand too close to that wall. Oh, is that a... This Bendesium wall has... Oh, hey. I mean... We can blow it up with a power bomb, I guess. Oh, hey. Lore. And health. And what is this? I think it's a power bomb power up. Expansion! Carry, increase the number of bombs you can carry. Awesome. Give me. You can now carry one more power bomb. Chozo lore! The power of our temple has been enough to halt the spread of the poison on Talon 4, but that which remains thrives and grows more on constant, more concentrated, gnawing on itself in the dark passages beneath the planet's surface. Whether it can be truly destroyed or not is, for, is not for our eyes to see, but there is something else. We Chozo are drifting, tumbling through space and time as the great poison eats away at our sanity. We wake in dreams as the veil of lunacy descends. The past and future blend and shuffle. One image appears and flickers through the landscape, wraith-like. It is the hatchling, the newborn, walking the path of corruption, a lone figure shining in the toxic shadows. She comes dressed for war, and her wrath is terrible. Do our eyes look backward, seeing the hatchling as she once was? Or does she approach even now, arriving in our race's last hour? A savior clothed in machines crafted long ago by Chozo hands. Poisonous clouds drift across our vision. Every once in a while you get to the part of the th game where it's talking about like how desperate like the Chozo are and how benevolent they were in their er in their like height of power or whatever. I feel bad about like making jokes about Samus's like stuff. X-ray visor. I am the long visor, aren't I? This is go. the proper one to get spooked in. This is. I love how, by coincidence, we uploaded the first Ghost Fight episode on Halloween, by the way. Oh. Like, that timing was just amazing. I wish it was deliberate. Oi. There you go. So what? you saw that, right? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, he's dead. Ah, sweet. Oh, well, that's gonna be interesting. Alright, so I see where my next target is. Yeah, there's a thing you can bomb up there in the mouth of the thing. Oh, two such things. Is that what I think it is? No. Huh. No, but there is a hole you can walk down that side. What's over here? Is there anything over here? What's the scan visor out? Is there anything weird with this area? No? Wait, look up. What's that? Look up. 
there appears to be something that you like you can hmm what is that it's, you see that right yeah it's got a symbol on it and everything but I'm not seeing anything to scan weird uh what over there to the thing you can scan those things you can bomb I think I'm not sure what's yeah that's a tube you get shot through or something but uh over there there's a scannable like in the mouth of the bird okay morph ball slot okay What's that at the bottom? Is that scannable? Is it bendesium? Ah, interesting. And then... Okay, and that'll get us to the, uh... The room with the uh, energy thing, I think. Yep. Yeah! Is that scannable? Nope, okay. Yeah, I saw it basically as I was sort of rolling up, and I'm just like, actually, you're right, that does look scannable. There were ones that looked like that, that were scannable. Oh, wait, why did I get out? I don't need to get out. And now you want to go to the one that's on your uh, right currently. Hmm. Just, I just start getting height, and then aim for it. I was gonna knock the jaw off of that one. Called it. Alright. Hmm. You dodged that not knowing there was a trap to dodge. Indeed. Ah! Ah! Remember that comment I made about basically being able to make galaxy quest jokes? <laughs> yeah. And then it's gonna be right on through the left. It's on. It's gonna be right straight on through through the chompers. Through the what? <gasps> you know, I Wait, are we? Yeah. And then there's a grapple point. And then there's that missile expansion we tried to get like a hundred episodes ago. Come on. I think you need to want to walk forward a little bit, or just jump off and grab it on a leap of faith. Oh man! Don't wanna. Do you want me to do it? Why'd you turn and then away from the thing you needed to latch onto? What conceivable reason? Ah. Uh. <sighs> you will never reach that from here. You have to be up where you just were. Are you sure about that? Yes. You sound really, uh, like, really, uh, like, sure about that. I am completely sure about that. What is the grapple beam's range? It's literally just on the other side of the magma room, right? Uh, the magma swing thing? Yeah. There's the bird thing, but you've already cleared that path, so yeah. Okay. Huh. Those bugs used to be able to catch you when you do that. Well, no, it's more about basically the momentum and whether or not they'd already been falling. Like, there were a couple times where you did manage to go right through like that, and other times just the timing was wrong. Did you guys explode? No. Okay, that was just the sound of me hitting water. And... And it was through here, right? Yeah. 
Do do. No spooky this time. <laughs> and then straight on through the choppers. <laughs> Just straight on through the choppers. Why does this even exist in this ship? Actually, looking at the looking at the function, like why do the, does this exist? Oh, uh, this here. Yeah. I have no idea. It's ancient, half functional Chozo machinery. Okay. Just run, jump straight out. When it lights up, hit the left. <laughs> we'll be right back. Do you want to try this? Yes, please. Okay. So basically, feel free to ridicule me if I don't get this first try, but it seems really simple to me, so... There you go. So the hilarious part to me is that, like, from my perspective, you could have told, like, I spent enough time away that you could have totally missed that the first time and then come back and just like, yo! I will show you the footage. I totally did not. Oh, okay. I got to there and I waited for you to return. <laughs> But it's like, yeah, it's too far away to just grab from here, but then if you just go for it, you come within range, you know what I mean? Okay. What the hell were we doing again? What were we doing again, actually? <laughs> we'll find out next time on Game Quest. Alright, next time.